Hello! Today I'm going to be talking about the intention of romance and the items I like to use when working with magic regarding romance. Now there are all different types of love. There's friendship, there's parental, there's romance, there's sexual, there's sibling, there's love for your pets. There's all different types of love in the world. And so I'm going to be talking about specific types of love so I can show you the items that I work with for those specific intentions. So today I'm going to be talking about romance in that category of love. When I talk about romance, what I mean is obviously what we think of as building romance uh, between two consenting partners having romance between the two of you. I'm not talking about anything sexual. We're just talking about bringing that romantic love into your life, building that romance in your life. Whether you're trying to find a romantic relationship with another person or you're trying to mend or build off of your existing relationship or if you don't feel you have any romance in your existing relationship, creating the romance in your relationship. So I'm going to be going over my top three crystals, essential oils, and herbs, as well as my go-to spell catalyst, color, and element. So for the crystals, these are my top three. So first we have rhodochrosite. And then rose quartz. and carnelian. So the reason I chose rhodochrosite, the reason I like to work with it for romance, is because rhodochrosite is a great romantic crystal. The vibrations that come off of rhodochrosite are more of the romantic side. They can also be a bit sexual, but we're focusing on the romantic intention of rhodochrosite. So rhodochrosite, again, it's a very dark pink crystal. It's a great crystal to increase romance. It has those vibrations. And I think it's one of those powerful crystals to work with in creating romance and romantic love. Rose quartz has to be a go-to whenever we talk about love for the most part. I think when it comes to romance, rose quartz is a great stone to work with. It has the soft, loving energies. It, it's just the love crystal. It's basically the epitome of love. And I think it has a very soft, loving vibration, as I said. So it's great to work with in order to mend or create romance in an existing relationship and to build upon the love that you and your partner already have. Carnelian is a great crystal to work with. It also associates to your sacral chakra and it's great to work with for building the confidence within your relationship and the vitality. But also, I think it's a great, I think the Carnelian is a great crystal to work with in conjunction with rose quartz when it comes to romance because it's going to give you the confidence and vitality along with the love energies. And being the sacral chakra, it's going to help with the more primal side of your relationship. And I think that the heart chakra with your emotions and your love and the sacral chakra with your primal instincts have to I think when they work together you're able to have true romance and strong romance positive romance in your relationship so rhodochrosite the strongest romance crystal vibration crystal rose quartz great love crystal and carnelian working with that sacral chakra is just going to help bring that vitality and confidence in your relationship and I think it has a, when I talk about confidence with Carnelian, it's about allowing you and your partner to be comfortable 
with increasing the romance in your relationship. Take the first step, take a leap, and do something that is romantic. If you have been struggling with either, you know, if you've been struggling with not knowing how to bring the romance back into your relationship, Carnelian can give you that confidence boost to say, hey, you can do this. Just go with your gut instinct and do something romantic and Carnelian can help you overcome that obstacle. For the essential oils, I like to work with geranium. It usually focuses, let's try, lavender. Sorry. And sweet orange. There we go. Sweet orange. Lavender. And geranium. <laughs> the reason I like to work with these essential oils is because geranium is a lovely rose scented essential oil. If you can't afford rose oil, geranium is your go to, it is your substitute for rose. Geranium has a wonderful rose scent. It's a soft rose scent. And that rose scent is what I'm going for with geranium to increase the love and the romance. I think rose has always been the epitome, the traditional go-to flower and scent when it comes to romance. Red roses are considered to be the romantic rose. And geranium having that rose scent is going to be great to work with to, by the scent, to allow you to bring that romantic shift of consciousness and that romantic emotions and energy into your life. Lavender is another great floral scent to work with for romance and for love. Lavender has a soft floral, slightly herbaceous scent to it, at least for me. Some people consider it to be more floral, but I think lavender is a great essential oil to work with for the scent profile of increasing the the love that you would have for someone. So the scent of lavender and geranium are going to shift your consciousness to love and to romance and bring that to your mind. Sweet orange, I love to work with. It does have an orange scent, but it's a very, it's a sweet orange scent. And I think that orange is another great essential oil to work with for romance. Orange is also a traditional uh, herb or item to work with for bringing romance and love into your life. And sweet orange is going to give you that vitality and that energy. It's going to connect with that carnelian, that sacral chakra, and it's going to help give you that confidence boost and that vitality to go forth. And then the sweetness of orange is going to also pull in that loving energy in your mind. Whereas the lavender and geranium are going to bring up more of the romantic thoughts and emotions and the love, and it's going to connect with your heart chakra. The herbs I like to work with are rose petals, even buds if you have some. Let's see if I can show you some. Then we have orange peel. I know it's a really big jar for a small amount of orange peel. I have all sizes of jars for my herbs. And lavender.
Sorry, one sec. <laughs> Lavender smells really good. So, this time we have the same essential oils for the same herbs. That's because I think these herbs, along with their essential oils, are great to work with for romance. Lavender and rose petals and rose buds are going to bring you, give you those energies and vibrations of romance, of loving energy. They're going to connect with your heart chakra and they're going to boost that romanticness in your emotions and in your thoughts. The orange peel is going to give you that vitality. It's also going to build you, boost up your confidence to create romantic gestures with your partner and give you that boost of confidence to be rom ro more romantic in your relationship. So these three herbs are my go-to for creating romance. And then for the color, we have dark pink. Now, this is more of the color I'm talking about. I don't know if you can tell, maybe if we show it with this, but this is a very dark, rosy pink. And I love to work with the dark pink or rose pink because I think that the energies really help with romance. I think that red is more of a primal sexual color and then a paler pink is going to be more of love in other forms, but dark pink is going to be that color vibration of romance. It reminds me of roses, it reminds me of romance, and I think it's a great color to work with for shifting your consciousness to the intention of romance. The element I would work with is fire. Uh, I think with romance, you need to create that vitality and that excitement and energy, um, building up that romance back into your life. If you're wanting to create more romance in a relationship that you don't feel has as much, fire is a great element to work with. It's going to boost you up. It's going to give you that vitality, give you that energy to make you have create those romantic gestures. If you're wanting to ha uh, receive a romantic relationship, you know, you want to have a partner that's going to be romantic and give you romance in your life. I think that fire is a great element to work with for your magic to make sure you're bringing that fiery romance into your life. And then for the spell catalyst, you could use a candle. Um, working with the element of fire, you could anoint it with the essential oils, you could roll it in the herbs, you could place the crystals around it, and you could put for put the your intention into the candle of either bringing romance into your life or allowing you to have confidence to bring romance into your relationship. The other spell catalyst that I would work with would be a spell bag. You could put the herbs, uh, the crystals into the spell bag. You could put a few drops of the essential oils onto a piece of paper and put it into the bag. And you could carry the bag with you when you're going on dates or when you're with your partner to increase that romantic energy and to bring those romantic vibrations into your life. Um, again, all you always have to take action to manifest, but they can help aid you in manifesting those romantic intentions. And those are the items that I like to work with when it comes to romance. Thank you for watching. Blessed be.